Welcome to a how-to video on stripper clip replacement. Today's focus will be on four and a half inch guide assembly, E-Station. We'll be using our T-handle to transport the guide assembly to a safe location, i.e. a bench, worktop. Uh, for ease of demonstration, punch and stripper have been removed. Tools you'll need, brass drift, four millimeter Allen wrench to remove socket head cap screws from spring pack punch driver assembly. A tool with a 184 diameter shaft for special pins, special pins and stripper clips. First off, we're gonna to wanna to remove all four or two for the C and D station socketed cap screws. don't necessarily have to be removed, more or less loosened. Remove punch driver and spring pack assembly from guide. You can just set that off to the side. Flip over your guide and we're going to start with a little maintenance. We'll want to clean on the inside lip of the, of the stripper retention system. Open retention system. A little more housekeeping on the inside of that uh, ID of the guide. Now's a good time to check to see if you have any scoring or chip buildup. And then we'll move into our special pin removal process. Here's your special pin. Using your 184 diameter press, we'll hold the pin and then we'll drive the pin out. After special pin removal, we strongly recommend that you replace these pins as they are a one-time use only. The OD of the pin mushrooms as it enters into the hardened guide. Now let's replace our stripper clips. Slightly move the stripper plate retention system up slowly as to not um, disengage the push buttons, so you have your two push buttons. We don't want to disengage those, but just enough that allows the stripper clips to fall out. Remove stripper clips and replace. Please note that these are directional. Follow the OD of the stripper ring as you replace your clips. Once replaced, Re-engage stripper ring. Stripper cl clips have been re replaced. Now let's reassemble with our special pins. Using your tool, align guide stripper ring, replace st special pin. Please note the thinner ID goes in. Now we will drive home our new special pin. Stripper clips have been replaced. Special pins are installed. Let's test to make sure and verify that we have proper working functional stripper plate retention. I typically do three to four to check. I'll install my stripper plate, check, rotate stripper. All set, stripper plate retention system is back in action. Let's reassemble this guide. We'll take our spring pack, our punch driver holder, and we'll reassemble. Be careful. As you transition it through the guide that you want to line up your key and then just slowly drop it in. Careful of your fingers. Reinstall your socket head cap screws. Once installed, 
go ahead and check for the Wilson Wiggle. This guide is ready to go back into production. Reinstall punch stripper plate, drop in, and you're all set.